there's something peaceful about watching birds. Each year, the Red Cliffs Audubon Society hosts an annual bird festival in St. George. Now, in its 15th year, they've invited birders and guest lecturers from New York City to share their experiences. Biologist, educator, and world traveler bird enthusiast Bob DeCandido and his photographer Deborah Allen host bird walks in New York City. They say the birds in southern Utah are much different from the ones in Central Park. These are not the same birds that we have at home. Like, for example, we were, we were just looking at uh, mountain chickadees and uh, the Abert's towies are very cute. And uh, let's see, Say's Phoebe, did I mention that? And what else? Oh, orange crowned, the orange crowned warblers. orange crowned warblers. They're much prettier than the ones we have at home. Allen has photographed probably a thousand different varieties of birds. She loves to capture the various species and vibrant colors. And there's around 10,000 species of birds in the world. So, you know, you could spend a lifetime uh, looking for all of them. And some people, some people chase birds no matter what, but in other people, other places, if you stay in one place and see how the place changes through time, and the birds that come there, you get a good grasp of what's happening in the local environment. Birding Bob uses bird calls to lure in unsuspecting birds that may be hanging out in the trees. You have these dry hills around here, which are spectacular because we don't have mountains or hills like this back in New York. Hmm? But if you put water in the desert, as Marshall and others will tell you, you're going to get stuff no matter how small you know, your nature reserve is. It's the quality that counts. You've got quality here. As they wander through the Nature Center at Tonaquin Park in St. George with local Audubon member and avid birder Marshall Topham, the birders find a great horned owl taking his morning snooze. Great horned owl. And it's daytime, so he's sleeping? He's taking a rest, yeah. They then find a much smaller owl, which blends in to its resting place. Topham has walked these trails for years. He knows where the different species usually hang out. In seven hours in December, in this very locale, my uh, son and I observed and identified over 72 species of birds in seven hours without moving more than two miles. While only about 11% of people in Utah consider themselves birders, other states like Connecticut boast as high as 40% taking in bird watching. The annual Winter Bird Festival in St. George attracts hundreds of people from across the nation wanting to see and discover new birds. One of our big concerns is that children now are spending about nine hours a day on screens, in front of screens and we're losing something there. We need to get them out in nature and be part of the outdoors. This is an attempt to do that. Most bird watchers also love to feed them. These native mallards and even swans are used to being hand fed. And the hope is if people get to know more about them, they may be more willing to protect their environment that they live and play in. If you're going to protect the environment, it starts with people. If you can draw people into having a fun time just with birds, enjoying it, they'll want to protect what they like. So we try to have fun, that's all it is. While birders enjoy searching for birds, it makes you wonder if the birds might be people watching too. From Tonaquin Park, Melissa Anderson, CEC News.